Infrared smoke beam is generally installed in a relatively high place, installed in the factory, gymnasium, etc. So we need to use the elevator. This is a wholesale farmer's market. We need to find the fault infrared beam smoke detector. We checked the first smoke beam. Its patrol light is blinking normally, so it has no problem. The infrared beam smoke detector is connected to the host through the address module, and each detector should have a location. But the location of the infrared beam smoke detector is not marked on the alarm and drawing. So, we have to find it one by one. This infrared smoke detector has a steady yellow light. So, it is the fault beam smoke detector. First clean the outside of it. Open the case. Its power supply voltage and signal voltage should be measured for normal maintenance. And here's a quick and easy way to test it. Cover its probe. Its red light went on. This proves that there is no problem with the sensor. Clean the dust off the outside of the probe. It triggers fire alarm properly when it is blocked. So no problem with wiring and equipment. Debug status with magnetic card. Adjust the probe up and down, left and right. The fault of the infrared beam smoke detector is that it is not firmly installed. Or the installation site has large car access to produce vibration. At the same time, its internal fasteners were not tightened. All that caused the deviation of the probe irradiation angle. We adjust the angle of its beam. And notice its status light. When the green light is steady on, the beam is calibrated. When the green light is flashing or not light on, it indicates that the signal is blocked or not calibrated. The red light blinks, it indicates that it is on working. Put the magnetic card close to exit debug state. Observe the status indicator again, the red light is blinking. The fault is solved, the fault signal of the fire alarm host disappeared.